Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will study the second law of thermodynamics. Basically, there are two statements for second law of thermodynamics which are commonly discussed. The first is Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics and second is Kelvin Planck's statement for second law of thermodynamics. In today's video, we will study the Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics. Now, what does the Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics tells us? So it can be stated in two ways. The first is it is impossible to construct a device that operates in a cycle producing no other effect than transfer of heat from a low temperature body to a high temperature body. Or it can also be stated as it is impossible to construct a device that operates in a cycle in such a way that it transfers heat from low temperature body to high temperature body without any external aid or external input. Now let us see the direction of heat flow naturally if we have a high temperature body and there is a low temperature body heat always transfers from high temperature body to a low temperature body whereas high temperature body low temperature body heat and never transfers from low temperature to high temperature so this is the heat flow naturally it flows from high temperature to low temperature Clausius statement gives us an idea that if there is a high temperature body and there is a low temperature body we have constructed a device such that it extracts heat from low temperature body and supplies it to a high temperature body it is impossible whereas if the same arrangement has external input that is work done given to it then it becomes possible so what does Clausius statement gave us Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics gave us the concept of refrigeration systems and heat pumps since they work on this given phenomena what are the limitations of first law of thermodynamics are removed by Clausius statement as discussed in the previous video we have seen there are three limitations of first law of thermodynamics and out of those three how many are removed by Clausius let us take a look so the statement is it is impossible to construct a device that operates in a cycle such that it transfers heat from low temperature body to a high temperature body without any external aid or input so here transfer of heat from low temperature body to a high temperature body is nothing but talks about the direction of the heat flow and this external aid or external input is nothing but talks about condition for making the direction possible so out of the three limitation the first was direction second was condition and third was proportion so these are the three limitations of first law of thermodynamics out of these three direction and condition are being removed by the Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics hope you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe our channel and stay connected with us thank you for watching this video